Hey you guys, it's All Natural Pisces. Um, today I am going to do what I consider to be my version of a wash and go. Not wash and define, not the wash and comb through and take a lot of time, but what a real wash and go means. Wash and go. As you can see right now, this is my hair from yesterday. This is just from sleeping on it, so I know I look ham. So I will be taking my hair down. So this is my hair. Um, again, as I mentioned in my previous video, I sleep with my hair pulled up. So this is taking it down from after sleeping on it. So I basically just separate my hair, pull my hair apart like this. I don't know why I just do that. I don't like to just take my ponytail holder out and then get in the shower like that. I just like to pull it down for some reason. So that is just what I do. So this is my hair. This is my wash and go from yesterday. And so, and I don't know where y'all are located. I'm here in Georgia, and it has been in the 90s, so it is very, very hot out. So the wash and go is perfect for wash and go, <laughs> and let it air dry. No dryer, just let it dry. It's hot out. It's humid. You know, put it in a um, heat protectant, um, a sealant, and I'm done. So here's my hair before I go ahead and wash it. And all I'm gonna do is co-wash my hair. Um, and I'm going to be using, uh, today I'm going to be using the Swa Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioner. Um, so this is what it looks like. So I will be, and I like this because it has the pump. I like the pump better than the squeeze bottle because it just makes it you know, life simple and less complicated. So this is what I will be using to co-wash my hair. And this is what I will be using to leave in. Hold up. I will turn around so you can see what it looks like all extra crazy when I take it down. So anyways, here is my hair and I am about to wash it and I will be back. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I just got finished washing my hair. Um, it currently doesn't have any um, product in it. Um, it's just completely wet, as you can see. Um, I'll turn around. No product in it whatsoever. Um, again, I use the Suave Professionals Moisturizing Conditioner. I will also use um, the Aussie Moist. Um, they're both about the same. They have really good slip. This one is cheaper though, I will tell you that. This is less than $3 and it's a 32 ounce, um, 32 fluid ounce size. So for like $2.94, you can get this big bottle with the pump. And so I would say this is really good, especially if you're doing wash and go. Now I do not wash like co-wash every day for wash and goes. Um, especially if I'm leaving the conditioner in, the next day I bathe in the shower because I do it all in the tub and then I rinse it out and then I get out and then I just go ahead, put my oil in and then apply it um, and do it that way. So co-washing my hair, I may co-wash maybe once, twice a week and like wash wash, shampoo wash, not so often. I've been trying to um, just be on a conditioner only um, washing method. So. Anyhow, again, I have no product in my hair. It's completely um, wet with nothing in it. I'm going to go ahead and apply my oil. So I'm just going to spray some in my hand. And again, I do this before I apply anything because with the oils in it, it locks the moisture of anything I put in my hair. And again, it's a series of different oils, whole oil, castor oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil. Um, I do have a fragrance in here just to make it smell good. Um, so I just go ahead 
and I apply it, make sure I get it on the ends of my hair, like this. And then from here, I go ahead and start applying the conditioner. So I just basically, I don't section it off. Again, this is my version of a wash and go. Especially if you have somewhere to go and you just want to wash and be out. So this is what I do. You know, and I will smooth it a little bit, especially in the front. As I mentioned before to you guys, the front of my hair has more of a wavy pattern versus the sides and back of my hair, which is the kinky coiler section of my hair. So I just smooth it through like this on this side. I am heavy handed with conditioner, by the way. Um, don't judge me. That's just how I am. Everyone's different, but I am heavy handed with the conditioner. So I apply it like so, smoothing it in. Again, making sure that I concentrate here too because this is my not so kinky coilers, coily section. The crown of my head and then one last like this getting the ends of my hair and basically that is it now sometimes I will leave it just like this and be out you saw in my defining method how much shrinkage that my hair gets you know I'm very much so prone to shrinkage my hair was like way up here now, um, one thing that I will do, I may leave it like this and it will shrink up as you saw. Um, I'll turn around so you can see it just left like this to air dry. Again, I'm not applying any heat, no blow dryer, no diffuse, nothing. Not sitting under a dryer, hooded dryer, nothing. I may leave it like this or to make it longer because I do know that I'm prone to shrinkage, what I will do which I plan on doing today actually first. You know, you gotta, you know, get some of those baby hairs out. I don't use a toothbrush, by the way. So you may say, well, why don't you use a toothbrush? Because I just don't. I get up underneath here and I just go like this with my finger. It takes all of two seconds. Anyway, just smooth right here. And okay, so for elongation, what I will do, because if I have nowhere to go right away, what I will do is pull my hair back for a little while so it just gives some stretch. So I will just grab my hair like this and I will leave these parts out again. This is my wavier pattern. So I try to manipulate it and I will scrunch it, you know, or whatever. So I will pull my hair back like this and just put it in and I don't loop it but one time and I will leave it like this and for a little while or until you know I'm about to leave so it can be an hour it can be 20 minutes it can be 30 minutes the longer that you leave it like this the more elongation that you'll notice that you'll have um, so like you saw when I went to bed, well, you didn't see me go to bed, but this, when I showed you my hair after, you know, I woke up this morning, the elongation that I had versus finishing results from my um, conditioner only defining method. So you saw that it was more stretched. Um, and again, that's just from pulling my hair up at night. Um, so until I leave, I leave my hair like this and then I will take it down and just you know fluff it I don't I don't shake a whole lot sometimes I just fluff with my fingers you know just like this now at night as you saw what I will do and it can even be the same how I had it the ponytail more low but majority of the time I pull it up higher like probably about right 
here. If you can see how high that is. And then I will do it once. You can do it twice too. It just, you know, it depends on you, you know, or whatever. And then leave it like so. And then I will go to bed and let it, you know, dry or whatever. And again, because this part of my hair is a lot wavier, as you can see, and not kinky and coily, coily like the back of my hair, I will scrunch on it. And that's why I will leave it out unless I'm doing like a twist out or a braid out. Um, but in this particular case, um, I'm not going to bed. I don't have anywhere to be right now, but I do have somewhere to be in a little while. And I do want elongation to my hair. So, um, again, I know I've showed you this, but what I mean by this section being more wavy, and I will show you this section back here, is kinky and coily. So you see the difference. So anyway, what I'm going to do, just put a little bit more conditioner right here. Okay. What I do is take my hair and just for right now until I actually leave I just pull it back like this you know no particular way just grab it like so and again I only loop it one time I just let it be loose you know I don't pull too tight so just once you see that just one time and I just let it go and then I stretch it down and pull it on the sides I mean you can wear your hair like this I know I will sometimes you know or whatever but um, if I want to wear my hair down you know so anyway I'm gonna leave my hair like this for a little while and I will come back and show you my hair when it is dry all right hope this was fast i hope this was a tip again this is my idea of a wash and go i didn't do much to five minutes um you know include not including getting in the shower but getting in the shower rinsing my hair coming out applying my oil applying this putting it in my hair and then you could just leave right then or pulling it back like i'm doing just for a little while and then take it out and be on your way. So anyway, hope this was helpful. And this is what I do, my version of a wash and go. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, you guys, so I am back. And my hair is 100% dry. I've been out all day. No uh, blow drying, no diffusing. Um, as you can see up close, here's the side of my hair. The left side and the right side and I will even turn around and again this was just basically getting in the shower wetting my hair down getting out after bathing slapping some conditioner on oil and calling it a day I was out nothing more nothing less so if you're like me and you don't have time to piece your hair and try and define it and you just really want to do a wash and go to where you wash and go this is what I do so this is how my hair turned out it is 100% dry again and the definition is still there it's not crunchy it's not hard at all um, as you can see it's well blended. Um, I do have shrinkage. I didn't keep my um, my band on my hair that I had in earlier. I didn't keep it on that long, so um, it didn't stretch a whole whole lot. Um, but you did see it this morning when I took it out of after I had it up really high. So um, it can stretch the longer you keep you know something in your hair that's holding it. So again tonight I will pull it up. Um, and do it all over again tomorrow. Um, sometimes I may not even wet all of my hair when I'm in the shower because the mist will hit it and then I may just get out and just spritz it with water and 
call it a day, just be out. So anyway, these are the results from um, doing it that way. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.